Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back one more time. I'm Oakley Hadef and again, you know, another news drop from the Total War series. So this is going to be another sort of rally point where they bring us in and we learn about new things. So primarily it's going to be starting off with this contained narrative driven mini campaign that they announced that's going to serve as a prologue for Rome 2 and it's going to follow the story of uh, Silanus here and I believe... Uh, what he serves as, as they say in the video, is he's sort of a lower ranking officer who works his way up eventually to the rank of consul. Um, and that's what they talk about here. This is going to be a way to introduce the game and get players acquainted to it. So here we see some new footage of maybe the cinematics from the game. And what I'm going to talk about is what we can deduce from what we've seen. Anyway, Mark Strong here is going to be playing the role of Solanus. He's going to be... Um, uh, probably familiar to you if you've seen uh, Kick-Ass or Sherlock Holmes. Anyways, you can see the Roman forces moving out here. So this personal narrative will be a way to introduce players without having a tutorial. It'll walk you through, I think, the various steps of, you know, fighting battles, doing family politics, uh, you know, getting used to all the new mechanics in Rome too. So I'm glad they introduced this. It's going to be really cool. And it opens up the idea for further expansions that are going to be possible more mini campaigns in terms of DLC or later editions. So maybe they'll have, you know, Caesar's campaigns in Gaul, maybe uh, Pompey's campaigns as well, or later Roman adventures against the Dacians or all sorts of different things, maybe even the Punic Wars. Anyways, I'm going to slow it down. Let's take a look here. You can see the grit and grime on these Roman soldiers as they, as they advance. And this is the really interesting part here, where you see the two forces collide. So the narrative for the mini campaign, we don't know yet, but it's two forces colliding. And here, take a look at this real quick. I'm going to um, do a, a freeze frame and look at the shields, if you can. What you'll notice on the shields is a familiar pattern on both sides. So look at the bottom left. You see that red shield with the sort of the gold squiggle on it. You'll see that on both forces, and that's something that I think implies that the forces fighting are going to be two Roman forces. So at first, um, you know, you can see here in this image the similar squiggles right there on the shields, similar destruction in the background. So I think that leads to the idea that this mini campaign. I first had two ideas. Okay, you know, it's if it's a prologue, um, then maybe it's against, um, you know, it's the Romans against Pyrrhus of Epirus invading Italy. But what we can see here is if it's going to be Romans against Romans, maybe that's not the case, especially when you see the palm trees in the background here uh, and these forces moving out. So what I think it is, it's maybe going to be one of the various Roman civil wars. And now that makes sense because um, that will allow you to get used to Roman troops. Um, also, at that point, Rome would have been a, a greater empire during the civil wars, so you'll get used to empire building. And also, there would be a lot of family dynamics and use of agents during that time period. So I think that's going to be optimal for showing off and introducing to the player to the Rome 2 world, especially, you know, in a time of conflict, especially internal conflict. And they'll be able to flesh that out with a particular character narrative, which I think will just stick out even more so when it comes to uh, you know a civil war they'll be able to tell that story much better have more scripted you know uprisings and you know cinematics as we can see here and uh, see the uh, the Novus Homo uh, the man who rises from the ranks up to the top the rank of consul anyway continuing with the video what they talk about is the the man I was just blown away by the uh, the amount of detail they're putting into the music it's gonna be spectacular so uh, Jeff Adamagian He's going to be uh, the conductor. He's, uh, he's helped out in The Dark Knight, The Born Legacy, I Am Legend, stuff like that. So it's going to be an incredible soundtrack, you know, live orchestra and all that. Um, it's going to have a sense of grandeur, of spectacle, immersion. It's going to bring you in, and this is going to be individual music for each, you know, culture, um, the different moods, the different battle scenes to really bring you into that moment and really liven it up. So Rome 1 audio, you know, blew me away. I still love it. I still listen to it. Occasionally you'll see it in some of my videos. But anyways, here on the second Rome, it's going to be just, you know, that much more epic, that much more rich. They have a much bigger budget. So in addition to this, you know, full um, orchestra that they can have here, they're also going to have all these details from, uh, you know, homemade sounds that they've actually done by banging metal on, you know, metal. And you'll see here briefly, you know, the extent that they went to to bring this to you, to get that visceral sound of the battlefield, to get the combat sounds and all that stuff. So you'll see briefly, as I mentioned, they have actually, um, you know, a, an entire audio team that's dedicated to producing these in-home sounds to get you the realism. It's nothing that's, um, you know, fake or 
that they found somewhere. They went and recorded this from actual um, audio. So Mac, Matt McCamley here, the senior sound designer, is talking about this briefly, and you'll see images of them, you know, tearing into uh, Roman punching bags, or you know, uh, they actually had armored tech people who they would hit with various objects. Uh, to get those realistic sounds that you would see, you know, if you're hit in the shoulder and scraped across the chest or, you know, pushed with a large object. So they have all this realistic sound effects, you know, the tearing leather, the clinking of the armor, um, you know, arrows hitting uh, soldiers, pillum being embedded in various things, stones hitting people, the crunch of soldiers. So, man, guys, this is super impressive. I really enjoyed this video. It shows the depth that they put into this. And for all of those of you who have been pointing out, you know, the de little details, the little things that you don't like about Rome 2, it, just imagine the amount of depth and detail that they put into this. Keep in mind, they're still making tweaks. So, for example, the yellow arrow trails that they fixed that recently. So, go ahead and check out that video where I talk about that. Also, check out the video where I talk about the Roman forts, the castor, etc. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.